Hello everyone and welcome back to PvZ2 Eclipse. Last time we finished up the minigame Botanical Battle. And that was quite fun, mostly revolved around levels with like super tough like boss zombies that kind of harassed you throughout the level. But yeah, we're through that now. I enjoyed it. Definitely didn't feel like a minigame though. It felt more like a challenge level. Anyway, this time we're going to be beginning Lost City Part 2. Now guys, there is a war party here that is available to me. And I tried it many times and I've lost over the dumbest stuff. And I spent a lot of money on s extra seed slots too. Honestly, I don't think I can do this one. Uh, and I'm sick of doing it, honestly. So I'm just going to pass it for right now. Uh, and I believe to get into the Lost City Part 2, we actually have to go through this. Yeah, unlock Lost City Part 2. So we have to, we have to play from here. I can't go to the world map. Anyway, let's see what's going on. Hopefully it's some, a few easy levels. Back to the jungle! Looking as lost as ever! Be careful of stronger adventuring zombies, though. They should be careful of the plants instead. After all, exploring the jungle could be dangerous. Alright, we got Shovel Dude. I don't think Shovel... Was Shovel Dude here last time? I don't remember. Anyway. I don't think this should be too difficult. Let's see... Yeah, we just see Shovel and Gargantuar. Those are the main things we have to be concerned about. Anyway, I'm going to go off of the idea that I can use my boost plants because the first level is probably going to be easy. So let's bring... Actually, Bo Bloomerang might be good for this. Let's try him out. I haven't used Bloomerang in forever. And I guess we'll bring uh, Red Stringer for the early game. And then I really need something better to deal with Shovel Guy. Ooh, maybe a cactus could be good here, too. I'll try and get a cactus out everywhere, and then we'll do, like, three stalling plants. Why not? That should be nice. Let's give that a shot. We got some interesting gold tiles as well. X Vacation. Ooh. I'll put that there to start getting more sun. I wish I could use a defensive plant, um, because, but we have, a uh, Gargantuars and Shovel Guys. I haven't used a defensive plant in, like, forever. Does that hit him? Yeah, it does hit him, right? Let's freeze him. It seems like the first hit isn't, he's not getting hit, like, the first time, which is a bit strange looking. Yeah, get back for a moment, dude. Let's launch these guys back for a moment, because I'm not ready! Okay, I need something to deal with this dude here. Come on, Red Stinger, you're gonna be off cooldown fast enough. Oh, I mean, I have a stupid buck head as well. Uh. There's too many dudes. Get back. In fact, we can stall you both of you at the same time, I think. There we go. That was nice. Is this guy seriously not dead at the top? How? No, don't do that. Do not dig up that sunflower. That's, he's here to stay. Okay, let's get a good cactus going. I feel like I'm just so overwhelmed at the start here. How are you not dead? Oh my gosh. That was so annoying to deal with. You can get back, Mr. Gargantua. Don't really want to deal with you right now. I feel like I picked the wrong plants to deal with Shovel Guys. Oh, he just got rid of my Iceberg Lettuce there. You guys can get off screen for the moment. Yeah, I think I need more Cactus. I think Cactus is it's what's going to get us through this. Uh, 
I feel, I feel like the bloomerang just isn't doing anything to him. Okay, well, we're surviving right now. Oh, let's dig this guy up. There we go, we got the wall of cacti now. Double gargantuar there, definitely gonna plant food at them. Look at all the many. Okay, I'll stall you them for right now. I like how the cactus like kind of it looks like he ducks over the imp being thrown at him. All right. Well, I think we got it. I think we get another good cactus out. Let's put it there. Freeze you, dude. You're getting a little too close there, bub. Man, I, I'm really starting to like cactus like a whole ton. I just love how it has like a permanent plant food effect. Yeah, dude. You can't move, can you? With all these bloom rings hitting you. Yeah, I'm just gonna dig up that spring bean. I don't want him getting launched off screen. I should have fast forwarded ages ago. And there we go, we get the parsnip. This is a plant I also never used in the vanilla game. So, uh, yeah, I'm a bit wor worried about using it. <laughs> Snip zombies charges down lane when defeated. Defeated. Alrighty then. Let's check out the Zen Garden, because I did just use something. And I probably have a lot of sprouts. Oh, yeah. I forgot about all that other stuff as well. Okay, well, that definitely gets rid of a few sprouts in my inventory. Not bad stuff to get boosted either. See, why does the red stringer take a day? But, like, the, the melon pole and the split pea don't. I, want, I wonder why that is. Oh, I think now we can actually go to the the world map here. To unlock it, yeah, because the gate was kind of like closed. All right, let's check out twelve two. Hopefully, it's also pretty easy. Spend five thousand sun. To br oh, it's one of these. Okay. Okay, guys, I'm back. Sorry, so I uh, I I paused because uh, I tried many different tactics and they didn't work. As you can see with my current loadout here, I'm going to try something entirely different now. So, we just unlocked the parsnip, so I assume they want me to use it. And it's probably going to shine in this level. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to bring it, and then I'm going to bring sap fling, because I believe that way the parsnip will be able to do like a lot more damage. And it's like a little space there. And then I do kind of want bong choy, because I think bong choy is slightly longer range. And then, yeah, where's bong choy? Uh, where is Bong Choy? I always lose it. I am so dumb. Bong Choy in this list is so impossible to find! There it is! Gosh, I'm so stupid. Okay. And the next... I really need something to deal with the bugs a whole lot. I think I'm gonna bring Tall Nut. I don't... Does Tall Nut... Can, hang on, can Excavator Zombies dig up the Tall Nut? I'm not even sure. If so, that would be really good. Hmm. He may not, but it's fine. Okay. Yeah, I think the Excavator Zombies still, like, dig him up as normal. But yeah, what we're gonna do is that we're just gonna use that guy to prevent the Bug Zombies from, like, flying over. The Parsnip's gonna deal massive damage, and the Bong Choy, I think, is gonna have slightly longer range, so we'll be able to hit them. 
And then I think I just want to bring two instants here. So let's just bring on a Stunion. Because that'll hit the bugs too. And then just for a Kale. Let's try that out. Good luck, everybody. Yeah, I'll try and put Parsnips in the same column as they are right now. I'm going to put Sunflowers back this way, though. And then... Let's put, yeah, put Bong Choy on that tile. Put a Stunny in there, start getting Sun. And then Sapling will be in the second column. Let's put that guy there. Start earning Sun from these tiles ASAP. It seems so weird to put stuff in the very back, or sunflowers in the back column again. Yeah, another parsnip there. Nice. Put that there. I really need something damaging for the bottom though. Let's just stun both of these guys for right now. I love the sounds the parsnip makes. It's so cute. Yeah, and ideally I want to buy a... Uh, Parsnip as soon as it's off cooldown because it takes so long for it to charge, doesn't it? Stun these guys again. There we go, now he's damaging them. Oh shoot, no! Dude, you weren't supposed to do that. Well, at least the parsnip's in on a sun tile. I don't even, like, I have no idea how this is going to work out. The bong choy isn't even doing anything because his reach is so short. I'm just going to put that guy there, so he start get sick, starts getting damaged at least. You know, I'll just hurricane this row, get rid of that bug altogether. I kind of wish I had spike rock now. Let's repair that tall nut. Good. Okay, I, I, I think at this point I just gotta start saving up the shun. Uh, Parsnip just does so much damage rapidly, doesn't it? I know later parachuters are going to come down, and that's mainly what, um, that's mainly what the Bong Choy are there for. Okay, let's just plant through the sunflower. I know I'm going to need tons of extra sun. I mean, the Talonas look like they're in good health, too. I should have just put a bonk choy on the other side of this tall nut. Like, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just gonna put that guy there. So now some of the tall nuts look quite weak. Like, I'm entirely relying on the parsnip for damage. This is so sad. Blow these guys away.
problem is that her killing them isn't really gonna have an effect. Oh shoot. Stupid parachuters! Just blow away that bug dude, who cares? Oh shoot. They're, they're starting to eat the parsnip there. I almost got the sun for, to finish the level. This is such a weird setup. I know, I know, I know. I wish Blover was a plant I could just have. Get rid of that guy. Yeah, I really wish I could have Blover, because I don't really want to just, like, spend a whole ton of sun on getting rid of one bug guy. May as well put Bong Choi's on those tiles there. Oh my gosh, this level is so ridiculous. Alright, let's just do these statues. Are they broken yet? Okay, there we go. Statue thing done. <laughs> now I guess we just load up. Bong Choi in front of everything. Alright, I see. I, I want to, like, hurricane this third row here. Because I, I have three... I see three buck ahead bug guys, and that makes me want to get rid of them. Maybe I should start trying pushing forward too, like I can put it like a parsnip on one of the gold tiles and then follow up it up, follow it up immediately. Problems are just too many guys right now for me to even think about doing that. Yeah, that second row does not look good. I forget what the plant food effect for the parsnip is. Okay, let's blow this row away. And then we put a parsnip down. Boom. And then tall nut. And then that. And then we're going to stun this. Because I know this guy's going to try and dig it up straight away. Blow these get bugs away. Let's heal this tall nut. This is such a weird setup. I don't eat the parsnips. You'll regret it, guys. Yeah, just get rid of all those bucket heads. On these two. I'm gonna need to replace a parsnip apparently. Well, it's almost off cooldown as well. There we go. Blow these guys back. Man, that. Hercule's super good at that, isn't it? Yeah. Alright, I think we won this basically. Blow back on the middle room. Get rid of all the bugs there. Put 
Let's do this. That should take out most of them. In fact, let's do that again down here. Nice. And we, we did break both the statues, so there we go. That level is done. Sorry I didn't talk much during that, guys. So it's, it's getting pretty much, uh, it's getting pretty late in the day for me, so I'm getting pretty tired. But yeah, I think we have time for one more level, for sure. Let's move on. Hopefully this last level is pretty easy and short. Oh my gosh. We have a brand new challenge up ahead, user Dave. These marked tiles will prevent us from planting on What? We need to destroy them by letting the zombies trample on the tiles. Maybe we can ask these bug friends for help then. Bug fiends, you mean. Tomato, tomato. Let's do this then. Hey. Let the zombies trample at least 30 marked tiles. And they go away? What? Okay, guys, I'm back. Okay, so... I I've tried this level multiple times here. Still don't quite know what to do. I'm gonna try something... It's crazy. I'm gonna try the kernel pull. I wonder if the kernel pull can drop the bugs, zombies, and do the effect that I want it to have. Because we do have to kind of let the bug zombies break or like die. I really want to use Bong Choi. Bong Choi would be perfect for this level, except I don't think it would work. I think it just kills the bug outright, so. Or it kills the zombie, so it doesn't. Okay, so let's put this guy here. Let's see what he does. Oh, yes. Yeah, we need to do more of that. Okay. <laughs> That's how you do it. <laughs> Seems like Colonel Pult is the answer here. In fact, I might even, like, choose to dig these up. Or maybe I... Oh, I should have just let them come further. Yeah, I should have let those guys walk further. Let's get a parsnip down. They're so expensive. Yeah, because now I got like these two random tiles out in front that I don't really want. I'm gonna put my sunflowers there for sure. Just the fact that everything flies means I can kind of safely put that there and not really worry about it being eaten. Okay, now let's put... Let's dig this guy up, put a kernel bolt there. Okay, I'm gonna need more sunflowers. Okay, let's put this let's put a kernel pot here. Hopefully he gets butter on this next throw here. Nice, that's like pretty much exactly what I wanted. He's gonna get that lawn water, but who cares? And it looks like the lawnmower doesn't count towards getting that tile either. I'm so, I'm so confused how this works. Because that guy got... Uh, I'm so, I, I don't understand sometimes. <laughs> okay, so I got another tile over there. Okay, so we got another tile, bottom row. The kernel pull might be like too strong for this. It might just need more bugs to show up at once. I just have like one in every row. I'm wondering if this will just like work. Let's. The problem is that top row has it. Oh man, yeah, top row is kind of the bad spot. I really need a parsnip for the top row. Like, let's just do that. See, so why did that only give me that one tile? That's what I'm wondering.
Hmm. This is this is so hard. See, it seems like the Colonel pull is just like too effective. So I got a lot of spaces in the back, but I think in order to progress, I'm gonna need more. I need more like spaces up <laughs> in the back. And they can have that lawnmower, that's fine. And see, I wanted that bug to go fly out a little further. Okay, nice, for 10 spaces left. And I would, I feel like I would, I would feel much better if I still had lawnmowers though. Just blow this guy away right now. Yeah, I don't know. Bong Choi might be good here. I, it's so hard to. S I, like, Bong Choi might work. I just don't know. Okay, I might need to plant through here. There we go. We got a few more tiles. I have four left I have to get, and I still have a plant food to use. Four left. Hopefully that works. Did I get all the tiles? Oh, that didn't that didn't knock some of them out of the air though. That, that's the problem. Cause there's still two on top of up top here. I want to get. Oh, we did it. Okay, nice, nice, nice. Okay, I was a bit worried there. Let's fast forward. Oh shoot. Oh wait, no, I can just do that. Get rid of him. Alright, very nice, very nice. You can just die, dude, please. Okay, so that was a bit of an interesting level. I'm not sure I did that in the intended way. But hey, we did it. Cool, yo. Alright guys, so that is going to be the end of the episode there. It might be a little long. I will have to make a ton of cuts. So I did this episode like in like three different recording sessions. So it might be... You might see a lot of random jump cuts. Alright. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, what is this showing me? Oh, it's probably a new War Party. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. Next time, we'll probably be doing uh, 4, 5, and 6. Although, there might be a new War Party for me to try out, too. We'll have to see. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed. I'll talk to you later. Bye!